The greatest perpetrator of misinformation during the pandemic has been the United States government. Misinformation that COVID was spread through surface transmission, that vaccinated immunity was far greater than natural immunity, that masks were effective. Now we have the definitive Cochrane review. What do you do with that review? Cochrane is the most authoritative evidence body in all of medicine and has been for decades. Do you just ignore it, not talk about it? That myocarditis was more common after the infection than the vaccine. Not true. It's four to 28 times more common after the, the vaccine. That young people benefit from a booster. Misinformation. Our two top experts on vaccines quit the FDA in protest over this particular issue, pushing boosters in young, healthy people. The data was never there. That's why the CDC never disclosed hospitalization rates among boosted Americans under age 50. The vaccine mandates would increase vaccination rates. The George Mason University study shows it didn't. It did one thing. It created never vaxxers who are now not getting the childhood vaccines they need to get. Over and over again, we've seen something that goes far beyond using your best judgment with the information at hand. We've seen something which is unforgivable, and that is the weaponization of medical research itself. The C CDC putting out their own shoddy studies, like their own study on natural immunity, looking at one state for two months, when they had data for years on all 50 states. Why did they only report that one sliver of data? Why did they salami slice the giant database? Because it gave them the result they wanted. Same with masking study. Well, the data has now caught up in giant systematic reviews and the public health officials were intellectually dishonest. They lied to the American people. Thank you.